Pepito Sumayan, Artistic Director of Sining Kambayoko Ensemble, says, Figador traditionally is an okir-etched brass container found in the homes of Maranao royalties. The shape is inspired by the masjid or mosque minarets. In the olden times, it is given as part of the dowry by the groom to his bride because it is a symbol of royalty, honor, and respect. Today, the gador is made of wood with mother-of-pearl inlays. It has become a symbol of gratitude and is now made to honor artists, cultural workers, and arts organizations in Mindanao for their invaluable contributions. The gador symbolizes honor, respect, sacredness, power, prestige, and wealth of a nation. In its effort to further strengthen its linkages and cooperation with regional educational institutions, non-government organizations, and local government units, the Cultural Center of the Philippines, through its Cultural Exchange Department, launched the Kaisasa Sining Regional Art Centers in 2014 with a pilot network of nine organizations across the archipelago. A partnership program that aims to broaden public participation in the arts, promote and showcase artistic excellence, and facilitate a vibrant collaboration between and among communities, the Kaisasa Sining Network has already grown to a total of 50 organizations in 46 communities all over the country, 19 in Luzon, 14 in Visayas, and 17 in Mindanao. In 2018, a series of Kaisasa Sining Regional Forums were conducted and the KSS Mindanao agreed to institutionalize an awards program that will recognize outstanding artists, cultural workers, and organizations in Mindanao. And that was the birth of the Gador Awards, a salute and gratitude to outstanding Mindanao artists, cultural workers, and organizations. The Mindanao experiences are very distinct as they celebrate the rich cultural heritage and vibrant artistic practices of the region. Recognizing the people behind these initiatives in Mindanao means elevating this for the rest of the world to take notice of the artistic excellence and cultural integrity of grounded artists and cultural workers. The Gador Award is a long overdue for Mindanaoan artists and cultural specialists who deserve to be recognized for their valuable contributions and achievements in the flourishing of arts and culture, not just in Mindanao, but in the whole country as well. I am particularly happy that the CCP has embarked on this new program to recognize Mindanao's artists and cultural workers. Gifted as they are, and the realization of changing times, make them as bearers of traditions more resourceful, more innovative, and in contemporizing the various artistic forms to show and highlight the beauty and diversity that is Mindanao. Over the years, we've witnessed the unique artistry, dedication, and perseverance of the Mindanao artists, cultural workers, and arts organizations. The recognition for outstanding cultural services and significant contributions of the Mindanaoans to Philippine art and culture is really long overdue and very well deserved. The Gador Awards recognizes Mindanao individuals and organizations who have exemplified commendable work and services in cultural and artistic endeavors and have been in the forefront of the research, development, preservation, education, and promotion of arts and culture in Mindanao for at least 10 years or more. Through the Gador Awards, the Mindanao Arts Culture Sector gives their appreciation to the awardees for their exceptional achievements in creative work, 
education, resource management, artist support, leadership, audience development, community service, partnership, and solidarity. A pleasant day to everyone. The Cultural Center of the Philippines congratulates the Mindanaoan recipients of the first Gador Awards given by the CCP Kaisa Sasining Regional Art Center in Mindanao. Amidst the ongoing pandemic situation in the country, we are happy and proud to recognize the exceptional artistry of the 2020 Gador Awardees, namely Joey Ayala, Dr. Stephen P.C. Fernandez, Nestor Horfilia, Agnes Loxin, Sunny Noel, Maria Datang Todi, Integrated Performing Arts Guild, and the Sinning Kambayoka Ensemble. We are grateful for all your valuable contributions to the preservation, development, and propagation of arts and culture, not just in Mindanao, but in the entire Philippines. I strongly believe in the efforts of the Mindanao artists and cultural workers who dedicated their lives to enrich the cultural development in the region. As bearers of the region's heritage and traditions, they strive continuously to show to the world the beauty and diversity of Mindanao. I wish to thank the CCP Cultural Exchange Department, led by Chingai Bernardo, and all other officers and members of the CCP KSS Mindanao and other key people and organizations for realizing this worthy project. I am confident that the Gador Awards will inspire every Filipino to achieve excellence and utilize their creativity to make a difference in their communities. Again, a warmest congratulations at maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Kung lumipad tulad ng agila At lumutang-lutang sa hangin Magkaroon ng pugad sa puso ng kagubatan Ngunit ito ay panaginip lang At maaaring di matupad Pagkat ang kagubatan ay unti-unting nawawala Mga puno nito ay nangingibang bayan At pag walang puno, wala na rin mapupugaran Pag ang agilay walang pugad, wala na siyang dahilan Oh 
mong makakita ng nga dila Huwag kang tumingala, tumitig sa langit Pagkat ang mga agila nito ang ating bayan Ang iba'y nabihag na Ang natitira'y bihirang magpakita Tiniklop nga nila ang kanilang mga pakpak Hinupag nga nila ang kanilang mga pluma Sila'y nagsipagtago sa natitirang buka Ang lahi ba nila'y tuluyan ng mawawala Oh ha Maria Todi, a Tiboli tribal leader, musician, dancer, and chanter from Lake Cebu, South Cotabato, Maria Oyog Todi is the founder of the School for Indigenous Knowledge and Traditions. She established the first Tiboli School of Living Traditions, or SLT, to perpetuate ethnic culture through an informal learning center where children and adults alike can learn traditional music, dance, native arts, and crafts. Isa po sa da- ang katangian ni Ate Mariana dapat po um, yung to be emulated by the young generation and young professional ay yung kanyang characteristic of being volunteer because you know she she doesn't work in any government agency uh, she just work on her own kaya nga uh, she has time free time para po sa kanyang advocacy especially for culture and the arts and i think uh, marieto did deserve this award because of her genuine love for culture and the arts of the tabali indigenous people maria also designed the slt to serve as an authentic homestay for local and foreign tourists who want a culturally enriching experience in Lake Cebu. She is also an indefatigable researcher of the indigenous knowledge systems and practices, which aims to preserve Tiboli literature through audio and video documentation, such as the ongoing project of transcribing and translating a Tiboli epic. When I met her, she was really very, very aggressive in promoting and in, in preserving Tiboli culture. And her advocacy for the Tinalak, especially, <clears throat> is also very famous. Uh, it was because of Maria that I was able to learn about the Dreamweavers the difference between a dream weaver and a regular weaver. It was because of the publication of that book, no? the Dream Weaver's book, 
that has set the tone of my advocacies as well no, for the Tinala. Maria deserved this award, not because, not because of her contribution, but because of her dedication, because of her commitment, and because of his unwavering support for the conservation and preservation of the Philippine culture, especially that of the Tibolis. Maria also organized non-profit groups such as the Helobong Cultural Dance Troupe that promotes Tiboli arts and culture and the Kesitifun Cultural Care Foundation Incorporated that works to improve the education and livelihood of indigenous peoples. Maria has traveled to the United States, Canada, France, Singapore, Japan, and Thailand as a Tiboli Philippine representative for festivals and performances and lectures about Tiboli cultural heritage. I believe that her advocacy to preserve the culture of the Tiboli had gained a wider acceptance and support both from the local and international uh, communities. But um, I think the most valued, para sa akin, the most valued accomplishment of Miss Maria is the perpetuation of the Tiboli culture in the hearts and mind of the young generation. Because uh, that is amidst the strong um, intrusion of the Western cultures. Maria devotes her life to protecting and promoting Tiboli culture not only in Mindanao, but in the whole country as well. More significantly, she proudly shares to the global community the uniquely colorful and beautiful art, culture, and traditions of the Tibolis. With all the work she has done, the future is assured of a generation of Tibolis who will not only perpetuate their cultural traditions but also protect their heritage.
Stephen Patrick C. Fernandez is a retired professor and founder and artistic director of the Integrated Performing Arts Guild or IPAG, a scholar, artist, and animator in Philippine performance, arts, and letters. Fernandez has published works spanning over four decades that have been widely recognized and anthologized. His noteworthy publications focus on his theories of transcreation and distillation, particularly principles he has developed through years of engagements acknowledged in dance and performance pedagogy. Fernandez developed the pioneering Culture and Art Studies program at the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology. He lectured in universities and keynoted several national and international conferences and was awarded fellowships to Sweden, Japan, and the U.S. Through IPAG, Fernandez has staged more than 50 productions acclaimed in over a hundred cities in Europe the U.S. mainland, and the Asia-Pacific region. Foremost among these productions is Sita, the Ramayana Revisited, that drew raves in India, Bangkok, and Singapore. His other original plays include the award-winning Ranao, Isang Alamat, Ming Ming, Sari Manok, Uwahig, Datu Matu, and Datu Mangkalasi. His full-length dance music suite, Perlas ng Silangan, was mounted to celebrate the CCP Outreach Program's 40th anniversary last year. It was a national touring production which he directed and whose music he composed. Oh, you know, uh, back in MSU Marawi, uh, we were in college. I knew already Tibo. Uh, we used to play basketball. In the early 80s, I was again with him here at MSU IIT. And uh, I then knew that uh, he was really at the forefront, uh, the leader of IPAG that brought uh, prestige. I have designated him as uh, the director that uh, by creating the Culture and Arts uh, Center, we have integrated actually the management of all our cultural resources. With these uh, opportunities, he was able to bring to the world, to the nation, to the country, the uh, local cultures of uh, Mindanao. We have to uh, give credit to Tibo for also uh, uh, bringing a little of history to the uh, culture and art world. Ipag is quite uh, where it is now because of the leadership of, uh, of Tibo. He, uh, he is not content on uh, accepting what is, but on trying to innovate, you know, uh, on what we have for the development of uh, Mindanao culture and arts. I would see uh, a passion in him, but I have also noticed something which uh, we should be emulated from, uh, from him, and that is the word humility. You know, despite uh, of what uh, he has reached, he is able to maintain, to be down to earth, to be as humble as possible. I first heard about the group IPAG and watched the Sarimanok, the performance of Sarimanok. Uh, I met Steve later. He was a colleague in the Department of English, and um, I told him I liked the performance of Sarimanok, and this is when I offered to bring the group to Siliman, and he agreed. When, uh, when Sari Manok was brought to Siliman, this was IPAG's first no, exposure outside the, outside the campus. It was very successful. I think after the reviews came out, IPAG became a, was introduced to the national audience and became a household name in Iligan. One of the most important achievements or contributions of Steve to the development of culture and arts in Mindanao is his use of local lore and adapting this for theater. Um, another would be the trainings that he had conducted 
for the EPUG members and this will always be part of the development of the culture and arts in Mindanao. And it is very important that the young emulate or follow his example in order for culture and arts in Mindanao to flourish and this will not be forgotten. We should have, I believe, pride of place. And as an artist, I believe Steve deserves the award. His Tales from Mindanao, a transcreation of over 20 dance music vignettes from various Mindanao communities which perform to wide local and foreign audiences, is arguably the Philippines' most toured repertory production to date. It has spawned two sequels, Tatlo Sa Isa and Tribes for Peace, which were also performed worldwide. Fernandez is listed in the Cambridge 2001 edition of Who's Who in the World and in the International Biographical Center's 2000 Outstanding Intellectuals of the 21st Century. He was the recipient of various honors including the Carlos Palanca Literary Award, CCP Gantimpala and Outreach Pilak, UP Likhaan, and SM Global Pinoy Awards. The Writers' Union of the Philippines bestowed on him the Francisco Balagtas Award, a singular distinction for a creative writer in both English and Filipino. The Integrated Performing Arts Guild, or IPAG, the resident theater company of the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology, or MSUIIT, has significantly contributed to a robust culture and arts environment and has enhanced a consciousness for Philippine arts. The Guild has exerted its tremendous influences on creative production education, craft enhancement, management of creative resources, and social advocacy. IPAG's prominence as one of the more dynamic performance companies in the Philippines at present is well recognized. It highlights a theater characterized by a distinct form, movement, color, poetry, rhythm, and engaging presence with global appeal. Its signature dance idiom is based on the Pangalay, inspired by the dances of the Sulu Archipelago, introduced by dance researcher Ligaya Fernando Amilbangsa. Established in 1978 by its founding chairperson, Ligaya Amilbangsa, and artistic director Stephen Patrick C. Fernandez, IPAG is a recipient of various awards and endowments from international and national entities that have acknowledged IPAG's artistic and creative contributions. It has participated in major national and international cultural events. In the Port Sorsun Festival in France, IPAG emerged as the winningest country among the foreign cultural delegations. I'm Grace Valera, one of the executive directors of the Migrant Heritage Commission in Washington, D.C. I'm proud to have known the Integrated Performing Arts Guild for almost two decades now. Wow, almost 20 years. The very first time I've worked with them was when I was still the cultural officer and attache of the Embajada de Filipinas in Madrid, Spain in 2002. IPA, led by its artistic director, Steven Fernandez, with its then choreographer, Nolly Sibalius, had left a remarkable impression that I was totally speechless myself after watching them, how they had transformed every performance into a very artistic, world-class interpretation of the Southern Philippine dances. IPAG had enthralled every audience that I did not hesitate to invite them again to my next diplomatic assignment, and that's the USA. Under the Migrant Heritage Commission, we had also arranged for them to perform at the world-famous Kennedy Center in the U.S. Capitol. 
leaving the American mainstream, including the US-based Filipinos, totally captivated. Everyone was raving at the vibrancy of every Ipag dance, with all of them saying that never before had they seen something as spectacular as that, where their heart would beat with excitement at every dance execution. In 2018, we brought them back to the USA. Steve Fernandez has maintained a highly acclaimed dynamism in the performing arts. He really went beyond the extraordinary of thinking outside the box. And he, together with the entire EPUB, brought to the world stage the colorful culture and the peaceful side of Mindanao, which could be something new to some Americans, but always heard of Mindanao as not so peaceful region. Congratulations, EPUB and Steve Fernandez. These are well-deserved awards that will inspire us here in the United States and Filipinos living abroad to continue promoting and taking pride of our unique Filipino culture. Maraming salamat at mabuhay kayong lahat sa IPAG. The storied reputation of IPAG is stamped on over 40 full-length productions presented worldwide. IPAG has enthralled hundreds of thousands in North America, the Hawaiian Islands, all over Europe and Asia. In South Korea, they performed for the 2002 World Cup, and in Monaco, they gave a command performance for Prince Albert. Its versions of the Ramayana were featured in major festivals in India and Thailand, including the 2018 India ASEAN Summit, where the performances were widely applauded and praised. IPAG continues to represent the country in dance, theater, and international festivals. Its engagements are perhaps the most extensive for any repertory company in the Philippines. Agnes Loxin was literally born into dance. Her mother, Carmen de Loxin, who founded the oldest and most enduring dance school in the country, made sure of that. 
best known for her explorations into Philippine tribal practices as inspirations for her choreographic transformations, Agnes has successfully reworked the boundaries of Western classical techniques into Philippine neo-ethnic movements and vice versa. As Ballet Philippines' artistic director and chief choreographer in the 1990s, Agnes developed a repertoire of neo-ethnic creations that contributed considerably to the cultural center of the Philippines' treasure trove of contemporary dance classics. Apart from her reputation as a major choreographer, she is an ardent advocate for modern ballet. Among her most significant works include Encantada, Babaylan, Taong Talangka, Bagobo, Igorot, Moriones, Elias, Hinilawod, and La Revolucion Filipina. Maraming umahanga kay Ate Agnes, hindi lang sa Mindanao, kundi ang buong Pilipinas. Dahil sa, dahil sa maingat at mahusay na pagsama ng tradisyonal at modernong galaw, katulad ng piyesa niyang ikurot, uh, babalian, ang kantada, la revolusyon, moriones, at marami pang iba. At sa tingin ko, ginagawa yan ni Ate Agnes para ma-preserve, maalala ng susunod na henerasyon kung anong kultura ang mayroon tayo. Luxin is a familiar figure in the theater scene whose forays into performance art had resulted in a string of beautifully choreographed musical productions like Tanghalang Pilipinos, Noli Me Tanghere, Hood Hood, and Walang Sugat, Petas, Operang Tatlumpera, Trumpets, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, SK Entertainment's Rama at Sita, and Vietnam Youth Theater's Stereo Man. Pero isang pinaghuhugutan, doon kami nagkasundo, na parang yung puso ng artist, yung damdamin ng artist, ay pinipilit niyang hugutin at uh, yun ang maging uh, motivation para gumalaw. At dahil siguro sa kanyang background, being from Mindanao, Ibang-ibang klase talaga ang lumalabas na galaw sa kanya mga dancers. Meron siyang tinatawag na mga babies ni Agnes Luxin. Na pag pinanood niyo sila, sasabihin niya talaga na Pinoy na Pinoy. Malalim ang pagmamahal ni Agnes hindi lang sa kultura kundi sa ating bayan at saka sa kalikasan. At uh, yun ay inilabas niya lahat sa sa kanyang mga productions. Maraming nagawa si Agnes sa, hindi lang sa Mindanao, hindi sa buong bayan, sa, sa sining ng Pantalao. And I think she deserves to be given uh, any kind of award, kahit na Mindanao Award yan, or even a national award. And uh, I hope uh, we all uh, give her the recognition that she deserves. Uh, ka, Agnes Luxin. Currently based in Davao City, Agnes continues to undertake highly artistic, imaginative, and delightful Terpsichorean productions. Dance and poetry and Sayaw Likhang Pukok are examples in her stunning body of works which have left indelible impressions on many appreciative and culturally insatiable audiences. As artistic director of the Luxin Dance Workshop in Davao City, her latest works resonated with contemporaneity such as Sayaw Sabel and Alay Sapuno. The Luxin Dance Workshop has consistently presented Filipino-oriented dances creating original dance narratives, and adapting Filipino children's stories into dance. Contentedly, 
Agnes continues to breathe and live a life of dance that she knows belongs to her, or better still, that claims her as one of its own. The Cultural Center of the Philippines, Kaisa sa Sining Regional Arts Centers Mindanao, confers the 2020 Gador Award as a salute and in gratitude for exemplary work and services in cultural and artistic endeavor that have significantly contributed to the preservation, propagation, development, and promotion of arts and culture in Mindanao and the Philippines too. Maria Datang Todi Yukimal ba kelamangan Pilipinas? Um, Kedai tahu nak beli beli kikimal ni. Selatan dan di tengah yang hapun. At uh, you know to be one of the first uh, Gador CCP Gador Awards this year, it's really a big thing to me. And now I see na ang dami palang nagre-recognize sa mga ginagawa natin. Um, ako bilang cultural bearer, cultural worker, and um, gusto ko pasalamatan lahat na nasa likod nitong Gador Awards ng Cultural Center of the Philippines. And it's really inspiring even the words that I heard from the video presentations. And uh, it's really, it's just, just like a seed. Yung lahat ng binibigay natin, yung lahat ng tinuturo natin, lahat ng tinatransfer natin ng mga indigenous knowledge, systems, and practices to the children, to the youth, and to the others is really just like we are planting seed in their hearts. And then later on, I do believe there will be many Tibolis, not even Tibolis, that there will be many people who are also inspired of what we're doing. I'm proud to be one, and I'm very grateful to God and to the Cultural Center of the Philippines for recognizing my work. And this is not just only today, hindi lang long, long time ago, but hindi siya nag end today, but it will be continue. Habang nabubuhay po tayo, let us continue transferring skills and our knowledge to the young generation and later on, sila din ang magpa-plant ng mga seeds na yan. Filipino people also recognizing us, even they're from the outside, you know, the other side of the country, they're also supporting of what I'm doing here. So I did not work in the government, but I do believe on the spirit of volunteerism. Etong pagkakaisa natin, taga Mindanao, dito tayo nagkakaroon ng harmonious relationship dahil sa sining. Let us continue doing that to all of us. Dapat hindi naging hadlang. Sana makakaano tayo ng peace no? dahil sa art. Let us continue transferring all this. Baka hanggang ano na lang, mawawala na tayo. Tapos hindi natin na ipasa sa, na, sa mga next generation. So today, I would like to thank everyone who are also watching, uh, even outside the Philippines and, um, and within the Philippines who are watching today, who witnessed the event, the greatest event. So sabihin ko, being the first Gador Award is really a mean thing to me. To God be all the glory. Hayuki Malpakadeh. Dr. Stephen P.C. Fernandez. In 
Integrated Performing Arts Guild. Those who have stood with us are still with us today. There are too many to mention. Too many. And this includes our families, audiences, communities, artists, teachers, benefactors, cultural resources, and the MSU IIT. The same persons who stood by the Guild ages ago are still around, working as volunteers, keeping the creative flame burning, encouraging advocates, training, and simply contributing what they love to do. Around the world, too, are some of the original 12 who prop up IPAG in its nation years without benefit of resources, without funds, without a theater. The CCP opened avenues for us after ENSA with outreach allowing us the explorations we have enjoyed here and abroad. There will be no performance, no theater without the audiences, communities, and the artists and cultural workers around us for whom we have built our work on. No inspiration without our families, my own Sophia and Lani. There will be no EPUB, no Gador, no theater movement, no school, and perhaps a culture torn by neglect without all these parts coming together. Beyond the accolades, the dramaturgy we have established, the thousands who have inculcated the practice we preach, our international networks, and the signature theater is the culture that we believe has been strengthened by the energies we have expended. In the Amin ng Gador, ang may ari ng Gador, ang ang pamayanan, we are its mere keepers. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Agnes D. Luxin. Daghang salamat sa CCP o sa KSS Regional Arts Center for this award. This recognition is really 
greatly appreciated and very very meaningful kay Gikan Gidi sa mga taga Mindanao. Salamat kayo. Kung kaya mong isipin, kaya mong gawin, isa-isang hakbang lamang at ikay makakarating. Tulad ng puno na galing sa binhi, ang mga dakilang gaway nagmumula sa guni-guni. Mo'y maging malaya Sa mundong puno ng panuntin Buhayin sa sarili Ang malayang paraan At sa araw-araw na pakikitumo Sa tahanan at lipo Malayang paraan Kung kaya mong isipin Kaya mong gawin Isa-isang hakbang lamang At ikay magkagarating Tulad ng puno na galing sa binhi Ang mga dakilang gaway Nagmula sa guni-guni Mo'y maging payapa Sa mundong puno ng digmaan Buhayin sa sarili Ang payapang paraan At sa araw-araw na pakikitungo Sa tahanan Ayapang paraan Kung kaya mong isipin Kaya mong gawin Your dedication to your craft and cultural vocation over the years are commendable. Your outstanding creative works have enriched Mindanao art and cultural expressions. Your ingenuity and compassion have provided the artists, cultural workers, audiences, and communities in Mindanao and other regions and provinces with valuable knowledge and experiences in culture, history, heritage, and art. Your initiatives and steadfast leadership have inspired and motivated others to pursue and support cultural and artistic endeavors in Mindanao and other parts of the country. Tulad ng puno na galing sa binhi 
Ang mga dakilang gaway nagmumula sa guni-guni. Thank you.